uh, ener transfer of energy. All right, I think we're right at the point now where we can actually do this. So we just need a small amount of water. Water and radiant energy reacting. We should start seeing the orange gas. I'll have to do a, a test later, but we should be able to we'll see the uh, hydrogen continuation at this point where it should stay. There it is. You can see that it's a continual reaction. It established within atmosphere where they're balanced, where there's nothing but a perfect separation of hydrogen, and it's continual. As you can see, we're holding at 1,000, we're pulling at about 40 amps at this reaction at DC. That's 13.8 13, 13 volts. And so the energy is staying continual. Until it burns off enough water. So you can see an incredible reaction where it actually stays balanced. There it is again. You can see we're getting more and more energy. Now we're actually getting to the point where the copper will actually start to melt. Now look, we have a continual energy effect happening here with, this is happening at 12 volts at about 40 amps, and as you can see the reaction is continuous. It is not stopping. Now I wish I could see under that because that's kind of amazing from this point. You just can't really see what's happening. We can see the orange continual glow. I think what happened is we got the copper at the perfect point of melt off. So now what we have, we have a seamless reaction happening in the water. 